with Glenn Marini's Sports Report, Indiana's Sportscaster of the Year. When it comes to East Noble grad Ali Ali, it's, it's easy to remember his name, but it's hard to forget his game. After playing his first three years of college ball at Akron, Ali spending one season at Butler only to transfer back to Akron for his final year. Zips fans certainly glad he did as the six foot eight wing has gone from the highlight zone to one of the top players in the Mid-American Conference. I mean, that was pretty easy because it was just like, I, it was already a tough decision to leave. So I knew if, you know, if things didn't plan out, I already knew where I'd want to go back and have one last shot of, you know, going out on a high note with the guys that I came into school with. Ali Ali launches from long range and what a comeback story, so to speak, for Ali Ali. After spending a season at Butler that saw him battle through a concussion and a nasal injury that required surgery, Ali Ali back at Akron, putting up almost 16 points a game while leading the team in assists per night. I think a lot of it started, and I know he shared this with you, with his teammates' disposition and towards him coming back and they were all, you know, double thumbs up. And, and in fact, you know, he's referenced this. We had actually had an, an official visit when he came back and um, we all went out to dinner and it was as if, quite frankly, he hadn't left. And in his heart, the former East Noble star has never left Kendallville. I definitely, you know, cherish those moments. And I think it's a big part of, you know, my success today, you know, kind of being able to be a cerebral player, be a team player, you know, a lot of things that I feel like are a staple in Indiana basketball. So I'm glad I'm able to, you know, continue to keep doing those things. His recruiting story is interesting. And of course, he can echo it. But, you know, we actually were in Grand Rapids, Michigan, watching an event. And uh, my assistant saw him and said, hey, I want you to watch this young man play and had an opportunity to watch him. We both loved him. And um, in fact, we changed our recruiting plans and itinerary of where we were traveling to uh, to stay with them and watch them. Then we watched them in Fort Wayne at the end of the month as well. And they just really believed in them. You know, obviously you noticed right away from a talent perspective uh, how smart he was, his positional size, his versatility. That versatility has drawn the interest of pro scouts. I mean, you don't really hear too much. I think uh, you kind of hear like maybe what others will say, but until it gets down to like the nitty gritty, like right after the season, I think it's, you know, hard to have an idea of where, where anything will go. So, I mean, I'm just focused on winning and, and just getting better and the rest will come. Like I said, he means a lot to our program. He and his teammates and that whole class. And then, you know, there's, they've had a heck of a run and we want to try to keep it going. But, but uh, no, he's, he's a special person, special player. Ali and Akron, a real threat to win the MAC title and punch their ticket to the big dance this week. Zips 21 and 10 overall heading into the conference tournament. Second seeded Akron facing seven seeded Miami in the first round Thursday in Cleveland. I'm Glenn Marini and that is your local sports report.